Hi guys, Rhonda Winstead here with you. Good morning, good morning. It is Monday morning and while I don't have tons and tons of energy, I am very happy to be here with you and to show you what I've been working on in between laying down, resting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought I would love resting, but, you know, I'm tired of it, quite frankly. Quite frankly, there you go. Okay, we're tagging it, guys. We're making some fun tags. This is for our Christmas journals. And today I decided that I just... I want to sh show you some of the fun things that we can do with fabric. I'm just, I'm on this. I have a whole bunch of Christmas scraps, and I'm just wanting to use them up. So I'm also recycling, you guys, Christmas cards. You know, the Christmas cards that we we still get. Hopefully, you know, we get them. And I've saved many of mine from years past and sometimes I will decorate you know one of my rooms with the Christmas cards um but there's always that you know what do you do with them you know and I hate to throw them away because it feels like such a waste so what I have been doing is taking Christmas cards and stitching on them and then backing it with other fun paper and making tags with them. Like for instance, this is part of uh, a Christmas card. It's, you know, when you get a card, you get two, right? You get two sides. And so rather than just having them sit or whatever, I'm using them as my substrate for my Christmas cards. Um, and why not? You know, you can do this if you don't have fabric, you guys, and you don't sew, that's okay. You can absolutely do this with paper and uh, fun images. There's no reason why you can't modify it. Adapt it to what you do, Okay. So, let me just show you some of what I have done, and then we're going to make one together. Okay, so, basically what I have done is I have stitched scraps onto my paper, you know, onto a card, stitch my fabrics on, you know, um, and then when I get that covered, then is the time when you want to add some fun elements, decorative elements. If you want to glue or if you want to stitch, this would be the time. Like, for instance, most of these have been glued because uh, what happened, some of these I had started last year, and it was getting towards the end of the season, and so I was just, I was done with Christmas by the time I got to these tags. So I just put them away and just got them out the other day, and it was like, oh! <gasps> Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> so, I just added embellishments. And this particular one, I've used a lot of these words the long way or the, you know, um, oh, what do you call them? Anyway, lengthwise, the words. This is from Junk Journal Studio, the Junk Journal Studio. And I learned of her through Gail Agostinelli, through watching her videos and how she uses, you know, these, and they're wonderful. I have become a believer. I have gone, I've purchased, I have a bunch of tags, you know, or not tags, um, a bunch. She gives you so many choices and I didn't even print out all of the choices that are possible. So, it's a really good deal, you guys. And I'm not getting paid or anything to... I'm, I'm not getting anything. She doesn't know who I am. <laughs> but uh, I'll put the link to her um, her shop in the description box below this video. 
if you want to go check it out. Okay, so I've just basically decorated some. I've got here some cheesecloth and just a little word, just doesn't need too much. And then you've got this fun tag. We'll just kind of set those out of the way. This one I have stitched on. I've added a little bit of background paper, stitched one of these wonderful uh, up and down words. And then this is a cloth. This is fabric, a little tree that I had cut out, um, stitched on. I forgot on this one to do add my um, backing paper before I did my zigzag around. So I just glued it on the back. You know, it's like, it's okay. <laughs> Here's another one. Oh, I just think these are just the cutest ever. So you can make all kinds of finishes with the tops. You know, you can have them so you can string yarns or uh, fun ribbons or ripped fabric or whatever that you want. And you can do them in whatever colors, you know, that you like. Now, this was a little different one that I did. I took a, uh image of, this is paper, and then I just added to it. And then this one, I did my little tag, or little flippy-dippy here, and just stitched that on. You can see. And this one, I did my, this is kind of my standard, what I do with my altered book pages. You know, I usually do straight stitch and zigzag, straight stitch and zigzag. But I zigzagged most of these. Here's another one. They're just so cute. I love this image. And I don't... A lot of these images, um, I mean, I've gotten them from many places. I've actually ordered on Amazon. I ordered a, a Christmas uh, uh, image book, you know, that you could just cut all the images out. And they had a ton of these. I've used some of Rachel with Roxy Creations. Um, I'm trying to think of, anyway, I've got several that are from different places and I'm not a hundred percent sure, uh, you know, where everything came from. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can see on here even that this is kind of coming through the card. I don't know if you can see it very much. But it's kind of a fun element, too. And it's a way, you guys, to recycle your cards, and especially those that have meaning to you that, that you just, you're not going to use as they are, but reinvent. Now, this one, I added a little pocket. I mean, what's not to love about a tag on a tag? <laughs> so you've got writing space in this tag, and then you've got writing space on this tag. So I thought that was a super fun one, too. And then just another, just adding some music paper behind, fun image. This is fabric. And then this is music paper, kind of Christmas. Um, now this one, I just did the card. I thought it was beautiful. I didn't add any fabric. All I did was punch a hole and stitch around it and add, you know, a little bit of writing paper behind. So you've got, so you can do that with your cards too. You don't have to cover them all up. If they're wonderful the way they are, just make a tag, cover it. And you don't even have to stitch. You can just glue. And then you've got yourself a wonderful writing spot. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we've got some blue these were really, I love doing these. This is from an old vintage, oh, it may even be antique cards that I have that uh, someone had kept in a scrapbook and they were hard to pull off. They were that glue that it doesn't come off the way they used to. And so a lot of them got ripped, but I have carefully tried to remove and I thought that this um, word just went perfectly with this tag. And then I added a little star here, a little snowflake, I guess. Isn't that fun? And then this one I haven't finished, 
but I wanted to show you the difference. This is part of the card. I left it because I thought it was adorable, the image, and so I have just, you know, scrappy um, stitched and then covered it with some of this music paper again. And so this one, you know, I don't know, we'll put something. I haven't decided yet, whether green or blue or I don't know. Anyway, okay. So there you have it. I've got, I think, like 11 tags here all together. And I just, like I said, some of them were done last year. So it's not like I've been crazy busy just in my studio. I mean, I'm in here as much as I can. And I just want to share with you on my cancer update thing, not to belabor the fact or anything, but I I have been getting more tired. Um, that's a reality that I'm just, you know, it's like, ah, I want to do so many things, you guys. But my body is just not quite, I just can't produce what I want to. Um, I'm still okay, but I'm just a lot more tired. Um, that's the main thing. You know, there's the other few little side effects and whatnot, but, you know, I don't want to bore you. But what I did want to share with you is videoing uh, or, or doing a video for me, not maybe for everybody, and I'm I'm not speaking for anybody but myself, but it takes effort. Doing videos takes it takes emotional energy to be able to to do and to produce, um, and so I can be in my studio and I can work on journals and I can work on my tags and whatnot, and it's not as emotionally taxing because I'm not talking, I'm not trying to share anything. I'm just doing as I can. And I can take, you know, as many breaks as I need. But when I am producing to share with, with you, then, you know, it just takes a little bit more. So I, I don't want you to think that I'm, I'm putting you off or that I'm lying or that I'm like, oh, well, look what, what all you've done. You know, you could have done a video. I don't... I don't mean it that way. I'm just saying that it's a little bit trickier <laughs> for me anyway. But but with that said, I want you to know I just I just love you and I do it because because I love it and because I love you and that little bit of extra emotional whatever that's okay. It's just I have to do it as my stupid old cancer body will let me. <laughs> Let me tell you something, guys. Cancer is so rude. I just think it's just rude. <laughs> and I know many of you have much uh, more difficult experiences going on than I do. So I'm certainly not trying to complain. Anyway, enough about that. Okay. <clears throat> so let's, this is from many, many years ago. Let's get started and cover this. All right, so we just, let's see, I'm just trying to cover up that name. So, because <laughs> I haven't asked for permission, you know, for that to be shared or anything. So let's just start with a piece of fabric. And, ooh, my glue stick is getting to the point where it's like, ugh. Well, let's just cover this. I'm just going to cover that right there. All right, I'm putting that right there. That might not have been the smartest way to do it. And when you're doing like a scrappy something like this with your stitching, if you want, you can include the fabric and the paper together. And this is, technically, this would be, you know, this is a mixed media tag for sure. And I just have these scraps that I'm going to just kind of play with a little bit here. I'm not trying to expend a whole lot of energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, <clears throat> oh gosh, I do apologize for that stupid frog. 
He is coming more and more, and he just doesn't get the hint that I'm kind of tired of him. But let me stitch this. And I would... I'll have to see with my uh, setup if I can easily do to show you my sewing machine to show that part of it. But you get the idea in the meantime. You know what I'm doing. So I stitched with my right sides together, right? And then I'm just finger pressing that out. And with this, you know, glue is your best friend. <laughs> Stick glue is your good friend. Okay, so I've got that. Now what I want is I want to kind of continue and have straight lines because we're stitching straight lines. We don't want any open bare spaces, at least on this particular, you know, what we're doing here. Okay, so, <clears throat> oh, that dumb thing. So how has life been for you, my dears? Can you believe we're almost at the end of October? And we are definitely in the pre-holiday stuff going on. I'm excited. And I have to tell you guys, Hubby and I are going on a trip. We're actually taking a little vacation. Um, we did a short little camping trip a few weeks ago, if you remember, those of you that have been with me a while. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. I am so happy to have you here. And I will just share with you that the way I really get to know you is if you comment on my videos. That's how, you know, I get to know what's going on in your life and who you are and just stuff that way. It's just fun. I mean, you don't have to. I don't want anyone ever to feel pressured that they have to say something or have to, you know, type something. That is absolutely not what I mean. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just building just this scrappy um, little bit of whatever. And I'm just having fun. That's the whole point. I'm not making this to just, here again, right sides together. I'm going to stitch right here. And we shall just continue working on the card that way. Or the tag, actually. Now, you could also make journal cards um, easily this way as well. Just a little different shape. And those would be wonderful as well. This is just another fun way, you guys, to use up your um, scraps. It helps us to declutter a little bit. I'm good at decluttering, but I'm also good at <laughs> increasing my clutter, <laughs> which is maybe not so good. Oh, good. That'll work well. So I just look for little bits and pieces. Okay, so... With the trip that Hubby and I are taking, we are leaving this week, this Thursday, and I will be out of pocket for uh, not quite two weeks. We'll be we'll be traveling on Halloween. Which is okay, because honestly, Halloween is not my holiday. <laughs> I mean, I, I like the, I think the the little ghosties and the, the cutesy, I think is fun. But I'm not into the gory, creepy stuff. I'm just like, it's scary. And I, I don't want to get nightmares or anything like that. Okay, that's about the right width. That'll work, that'll work. So now we're just going to work our way up. There again, I'm going to stitch right here, and I do about a quarter of an inch seam, guys. Maybe not quite. Keeping in mind that this is just paper and fabric, and 
you know, the rules or whatever you want it to be. If you decide you like something, add it, take it away, whatever, that's good. Because this is your art. Now, I could, that, I could do that. I could cover the whole thing. But, you know, let's, you know, we don't want to do that. So, I'm going to just kind of do a little wonky dilly waily here. And we'll just do another little diddy do there. Diddy do, dilly willy. <laughs> oh, oh, where's a candy cane? Oh, cute. Well, we'll have to see. We can fit that in somewhere. Um, so I'm looking for different, different things here. Stockings. That's kind of cute. I want to use up, like I said, my scraps. Okay, so here again, I'm going to stitch right here. Funny thing about when we use up our scraps, do you find, and I would absolutely love for you to share this, let me know, um, do you actually get rid of scraps or do you create more scraps when you're trying to use up scraps? I find off times that when I'm using up scraps, I'm actually creating more because I'll find, oh, well, I want just a little bit of this. I just want, you know, just this little tiny bit over here. And so I'll cut something that wasn't maybe a technical scrap. And so then I've created another scrap. <laughs> Are you ever guilty of that, you guys? I am. Oh, my goodness. So you see what I'm doing here. Now see, just like this, I created another scrap just by doing that. And then, <clears throat> anyway, you get where I'm going. It's just an ongoing, all always kind of a thing that, uh, that we do. But, oh my goodness, it's so much fun, you guys. If you haven't tried doing some of this, I hope you will. Nobody's going to judge you, and if they do, shame on them, you know. That's, it's your right to do whatever you want to do. But don't be afraid to try new things, to try something different than what you're used to. Here again, I'm going to take a little seam there, and then this will cover this uh, substrate, my Christmas card from many years ago. A sweet, sweet quilting friend named Donna, and I just won't give you her last name. Anyway. Okay. And that will hold that in place. Okay. Now, another thing that you can do, my friends, now we're turning this over and we're going to trim it. I'm getting my fabric cutter. Um, and here again, creating more scraps. <laughs> but what a way to go, right? What a way to go. And maybe on this one, you guys, maybe we should just have a journaling card. This is a good size. I think for a journaling card. So let's do that. Okay. And it's just relaxing for me. I just I just find this whole process just enjoyable. And it mixes my my loves you know, my love of paper, my love of fabric. It combines them, puts them together. Now, that's a pretty cute journaling card. I think we'll just, we'll leave that as is. Um, do we even want to decorate it? You know, that's one of the things that we can, it's even pretty, you guys, just to leave it as is. Don't you think? 
and it just gives all this texture, this wonderful, and somebody's just going to be like, oh my gosh, they actually did that. Oh, they sewed that. Ah. <laughs> They're going to be amazed at what you've done. Okay, so let's do this. Let's just snip our little corners here just a smidge, just because, and I know this is something that Rach does at Roxy Creations. And I usually do a corner rounder, but it'll, that's a little nod to my friend Rachel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Now, because I've decided I'm not going to do anything uh, embellishment wise, well, well, let's, before we actually say that, let's pull out one of our books and let's just, let's just look for just, you know, just in case, <laughs> I've got so many fun, fun, fun. And this is, you know, that, oh, that would be nice. I love, I love combining. I personally love combining religious and Santa Claus at Christmas time. Whatever makes somebody feel joyful and makes them happy. Uh, is I'm like, go for it. You do you. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I like that. I like the circle element. Those may be a little bit big, and that's maybe a little bit small. Oh, look at the sweet angel. That'd be nice on a blue, maybe a blue card, right? Oh, I love that. Hmm. Should we? Should we? Should we? Do we? Dare we? That's even bigger than the others. Oh, you guys, this is hard. See, this is... <laughs> and I haven't even turned a page yet. Oh, crazy. All right, let's turn a page and see what we got going on. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see, some little smaller. And see, that's super cute, too. But, you know, that's just really cute. So, with our vacation upcoming, we're leaving Thursday. And we're going to be gone for about a week and a half. Oh, isn't that cute? Yeah, let's do that. And recently I have been doing my um, edging with the ink. And this is Vintage Photo. That is my favorite when I do the inking. And I don't always ink around. And more recently I haven't. But a couple of journals that I have been working on recently, I have done that, and I've just been kind of enjoying it. So we're just kind of continuing in that mode. We'll do that a little bit. Okay, hopefully you could see that. I apologize if I'm all over the map here. Okay, let's put that away for now. And let's see about... How about just a little smidgen of cheesecloth? And I could, maybe I want the lighter. Do I want the lighter? Let's try. We'll try both and then we'll see which we kind of like. Or maybe we can combine. Okay, there's a bit of the lighter. See, I like that. It gives a little bit of grounding. And let's get a little piece of this, and this has just been coffee dyed. I just, you know, spritzed a little bit of coffee on it and let it dry. And I really don't need nearly that much, I don't think. Mm. Let's try it this way then. Just... 
you know, just playing with a few different things. And that's the whole idea here, guys, is that, uh, oh, I like that. I like that. Let's do that. Okay, so we just want to kind of smush, smush. Smush is a good word. <laughs> do you have words that you're like, yeah, this is a great word to use. And then, and then she said, and I am almost at the end of this glue stick. And I will do this, wipe my hands off, a little bit gluey, which comes, <laughs> oh, isn't that cute? Okay, now let me just stitch around, oh, before we stitch around, let's get a backing. <laughs> That's something that... I sometimes forget to do. I have a lot of this paper. This is vintage writing paper that kids use. And I think, let's see, I think what I'll do is just mark, just kind of the edges here. And I will glue that. Let me put this underneath so that we're... And I think I'm going to get a new glue stick. Just one sec. <clears throat> we'll just start fresh. And then we will... Just glue in here. So we're heading to South Carolina to go see my oldest and his family. Well, it's just a real quick trip this time. Last year we went and we spent several days, but this time because we're going to Cape Cod, we're just basically spending a couple of days with them uh, before we, you know, move on to continue the journey. Now, let me get my, you have to change rotary cutters or change your cutter method, whatever it is that you use to do the paper. Definitely don't want to use my fabric to do the paper, although I kind of do when I'm cutting through some of these. What? That's, what was that? What? It just sounds weird. I don't know what's going on there. Let's put those back the way they should be. Get rid of that. Clear that out. Put this back. Let me just, I'm sorry. I just, I know I get real messy sometimes, but I, it's not my favorite thing to be messy. Snipping these little corners. Okay. Now I'm going to stitch around. Okay. Just one second, I shall return. Alrighty, so we are planning on heading to South Carolina. We'll be there for a couple of days. And then we will head up to Cape Cod. I've never been to Massachusetts. And so I'm looking forward to it. And we have a, we got a, um, oh, you know these vacation places where if you go and they, you listen to their spiel 
for two hours. Um, and then they give you free stuff and free room and board and things like that. Well, last year, or maybe the year before, I can't remember, um, we did that. And we suffered through, and I mean suffered, <laughs> through the, they say an hour and a half to two hours, but it was actually closer to four by the time we were done. And by the time, you know, they had tried to get us 4,000 ways to um, buy into their uh timeshare, whatever. So, anyway. But, because of that, we did end up getting a free hotel stay. Or not Well, it's, you know, their apartments, their timeshare places. Um, three days, or four days and three nights. And so, and we could pick anywhere within a certain, you know, area. And so we picked Cape Cod because we've never been there. And so that's going to be kind of fun. So that part is free, um, which makes it nice. <laughs> but we, we were talking about it the other day and, and the amount of time that we're going to be there. And I'm like, what are we going to do? He's like, we're going to check out. We're going to go exploring. We're going to, you know, we're just going to, we're just going to have fun. I said, well, I kind of think it's going to be expensive. <laughs> I mean, right. The, the room will not be expensive, but it's all the other stuff you do, right? It's the places that you eat, that you have to try certain things or, you know, the antique shops that you have to go in and the junk places that you have to go look at, right? <laughs> okay, is that just fun, guys? I mean, it takes a bit of time, but I think it's absolutely worth it. And you could, on here, you can absolutely, you can put a little tab on there. You can, you know, leave it as is. Let's see, let me grab <clears throat> for you, for just a sec, I've been also working on Rachel's uh, journal, um, Roxy's journal, and uh, look how fun, just, I'm, this is, I'm having fun, guys, just having fun, but this one, to put in this way, I need, mmm, this may be too wide to go in this particular journal this way. I may have to, uh, to do two, two. I may have to pin it, uh, paper clip it, or turn it this away. This away. These were done with Rachel, one of her weekly Roxy. A weekly challenge I did on some of my old antique paper made the pocket got some journaling got a fun card paper here I hadn't intended on showing you guys this today but it's just fun let's just do it and then the pocket on this side that you glue in and then of course this is writing paper and from the workshop of Santa Claus, I've got these little papers that are super fun. And I did that on both sides. I did one on both sides of that. And it's super cute. And this was, I'll put the description how to get to uh, Rachel, her uh, weekly um, challenge. If you want to do these over the page tabs and tags and, and pockets and whatever. <laughs> okay, so still got a lot of work to do in here, but it's, it's coming along. It's coming along. And this is something that was just fun. I just, I got this idea from Wendy 
of Wendy's Travel Adventures, where she was covering a Christmas card, the back, and making it into a pocket. And so I got that idea from her. So thank you, Wendy. And I will put where, uh, where she did that as well. I'll find that link. So, oh, where, where were we? Where were we? We were on this little guy. So, as you can see, it just gives a fun dimension. Now, see, that's super cute. I may just go ahead and leave that there. I may put it in here. Just lots of possibilities. All right, guys. I think that we will call it a video. I love you. Thank you so much for your kind words, for your prayers, for your good thoughts. It really did help me to read, you know, when I posted that I just wasn't, I was tired and just couldn't do a video. It just meant so much to have you share and that that's okay. I appreciate that so much. I love you guys so much. I really, really do. You're a big part of my life, even though I don't do videos every day. And there are times where there's a wide span. I just want you to know I'm always thinking about you. And I hope that you have a fabulous day. I hope to be able to do another video before I head out on vacation. And I hope that everything in your world is going great. All right, guys. Love you. Bye-bye.